Good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I want to talk to you guys about um, avoiding mental landmines. I just did uh, my three miles. I ran seven minutes nonstop for the first time. So I'm really excited about that. But it almost killed me. Good morning. Good morning. So this morning, I want to talk to you guys about um, mental landmines. Let's see. Have you ever um, been in a situation where people will talk about you and a lot of people will say stuff and you don't really care and then one person will say one thing and it'll cause you to blow up or you'll be having a conversation with your spouse and um, your husband will say something and you'll be like, what you say? And what they said is not what you thought they said, but you got mad. It's because they stepped in one of your mental landmines. And the purpose of this video is to help you guys to identify what yours are so you can build a um, roadblock around it or a detour. Okay, so I have, um, I actually have several uh, landmines <laughs> because they can fall in all different kind of categories. Like the one I'm going to focus on today is, is weight loss related. But it can be relationship, it can be business, it can be job, it can be something about your past, it could be, you know, your abilities as a parent, but you have to figure out what yours is. Like, um, for me, as far as weight loss, one of my landmines is getting started working out every single day. And so what I had to do to build my detour was I had to prepare myself by laying my clothes out, socks, shoes, um, getting my water and my protein a drink and my pre-workout everything already ready because if I find if I can't find one thing I'm gonna go back to bed so once I set that up in routine to where I got up and everything was already ready my headphones had to be charged because if they did I'm not working out so I had to figure out what mine were and fix that so I could work out and once I got that out of the way that I was able to work out see your your mind is very powerful because, like, even though I've started this um, journey on the 15th of last month, and my weight has been going up and down, up and down, up and down. And yesterday, which I wasn't supposed to get on the scale, I got on the scale and my pound, my weight had went up a pound. Well, I quit mentally. Even though my clothes, my scrubs are falling off, people are telling me that they can see the weight. And my energy has been through the roof since I started working out. Just because that scale went up a pound, my mental said, okay, well, this is not working. So I almost quit. And that is why you have to identify yours, your mental landmines, because they will cause you to fail. Even when you're succeeding, you'll see what you want to see and think what you want to think. So it's really important for you to identify and figure out ways to go around yours. Like for me, I had to do this accountability in front of you guys letting you see my progress because honestly if I did not have a video to do today probably would not have worked out and then you know that mental landmine would have blew up for me and then I would have to start all over when I decided I was ready to lose the weight again so it's really important for you to figure out whatever your goal is to figure out what it is it that's hindering you mind mentally because whatever you want to do it's in your mind that's stopping you it's not um, your situation. It's not, you know, finances. It's in your mind. It's once you make up your mind, you're going to find a way to get those extra dollars to start your business. You're going to find the time to do whatever you want to do. So you have to figure out what it is in your mind that's stopping you from doing what you want to do. And one thing a lot of people don't realize is a lot of times those mental landmines that people make you blow up on are things that you're already thinking inside of yourself. So when someone says, oh, well, you can't do this or you can't do that, you already thought it. So when they say it, it kind of confirms what you're thinking, which makes it hurt even more. So you have to figure out what you have to do in order for that not to work. Like, I don't know if you saw my post yesterday with Tiger Woods, where he was, um, had the guy was standing in front of him with his mugshot, you know, trying to make him feel bad as he was about to play. People are going to do that to you no matter what you do. You could find a cure for cancer. You could uh, rescue children from a burning building. No matter what you do, people are going to find a way to bring back the negativity in you. And they're going to be like, well, I remember when she was, you know, using drugs and, you know, clubbing every other weekend. 
But unless you've dealt with that mental landmine and done the work and built your detour, you're going to fall victim to that. If you've already dealt with it, you'll say something like, well, you know what? Thank you for showing people how far I've come. I appreciate you for letting them see that's possible to go from there to where I am now. So the mental landmines for me is kind of like a way to keep you from falling in the hole of failure because that's all it is. When you step into that mental landmine, what happens when you step on a landmine? Everything blows up. So you have to figure out a way to keep other people from stepping on it, but not only other people, but yourself as well. So like I said, for me, mine is getting started working out. So I figured out a way to, once I get up, everything is already laid out. So I have no excuse, but to go and work out. And then another reason why I do what I do as far as on the business side is my family is full of girls, nothing but all girls. And in today's society, it seems like it's more popular to be, um, like a stripper or Tatiana than it is to be a businesswoman or a boss. And I felt like I needed to show my girls a example of what it's like to be on the other side. Because when you rely on somebody else, you know, it's not the best, it's not the situation you want to be in. I remember when I was growing up, my mom used to tell me you never wanted a guy, the man to be the breadwinner, the only breadwinner, the sole breadwinner. Because she told me if he's the breadwinner, and he's the only one bringing bread to the table, then he decides when you eat and how much you get to eat. So because of that, I've always decided that I have to, you know, do it for myself and I want to be able to be able to contribute. And I want to be able to walk away if I need to. So that's the important thing for me as far as why I keep trying to go higher and higher and higher because I want my girls to have that example opposed to what they see on TV and what they hear on the news and everything else. So a lot of times people um, don't realize that their downfall is on them, not somebody else. So if you are not successful in what you're doing, you need to realize that you have the power in you. You are the only thing that's making, that can make or break you. Your mind is the most powerful tool there is. It can set you up for failure before you even start. If you allow the doubts to come in, if you allow the naysayers to get in your head, you have to already have it set up, that roadblock. I'm doing this for my kids. I'm doing this for a better life, for health. I'm doing this so I can live longer. I'm doing this so I can enjoy you know, the vacations with my husband when we get in our 80s. You have to set those those roadblocks up so when the negativity comes in it doesn't get to the landmine so the, that was the purpose of my video today was because a lot of times when I talk to my patients I hear a lot of excuses and excuses are mental landmines like I don't have time for this but you have time to go drinking with your friends you have time to go shopping you have time to watch Housewives of Atlanta but you don't have time to work out okay so you can do whatever you want to do. You just have to set up your priorities and decide why you want to do it and that you're going to do it. Once you say, I'm going to do something, figure out a way to get it done. Cause like I said, I was going to lose weight. So I've set up when I'm going to work out, how I'm going to work out. Uh, when I run into a problem, I figure out what I'm going to do as far as like not wanting to work out. I know I got to do, do a video for you guys. I know I have to show you guys my um, progress. So that a lot of times when I don't feel like doing it, I'm like, oh man, I got to wait Friday or I got a video to do Tuesday. I can't sit up here and say I'm working out and I'm not working out. That's not who I am. So that makes me keep going. I figured out a way to go around, you know, my mental land landmine. So I encourage you guys to do the same. Figure out what it is that you need to do. If you have a hard time like starting up, you don't know how to get started. Look on Facebook. They have lots of groups of people that's doing exactly what it is you want to do. And they have a lot of free advice. Look on YouTube. I learned how to do a lot of stuff that I needed to do for my business on YouTube. Like the type of software I needed to use, the type of insurance I needed to use, um, the companies. I got a lot of that off of Facebook. You just have to have the mental mindset. You know what? This 2019 is my year. I'm going to do whatever your goal is. If it's weight loss, if it's your business, whatever it is, set you a plan, a goal set you what you need to get it started and then get it started and don't let your failure be based on mental because 
just as easy as it can be negative, it can be positive. You just have to turn that switch and be like, you know what? I'm not going to let myself be the reason for my failure. I am going to be successful and I'm going to do whatever I have to do to get there. So that's the purpose of my video today. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and a heart. And if you like um, the topics that I cover, go come on over to my YouTube page, Sequisa the NP. I will be sharing more videos like this, plus more workout tips. And I'm about to put on there a recipe that I use that I could pretty much eat every single day, which is pretty good for uh, weight loss. And it's got like chicken breast and vegetables and rice and things like that so make sure you stay tuned and come on over to my youtube uh, page and subscribe and i will see you next time